Thank you for being part of a collaborative trial on the Seedlink platform. We appreciate your participation. Today I will cover how to accept a collaborative trial through an email invitation. Accepting a trial is the first step in participating in a collaborative trial on the Seedlink platform. When you accept a trial, you are RSVPing and letting the trial manager know that you are committing to participating and that they can send you seeds. Let's get started. You'll be sent an email from Seedlinked or another trialing organization using Seedlinked asking you to participate in a collaborative trial. The subject line will be trialing organization name, trial invitation. Open that email. Within this email, you can learn who invited you to the trial, basic trial details, trial crop type, and varieties. When it comes to accepting the trial, you'll be in one of two scenarios. One, you don't have a Seedlinked account and you need to create one to accept the trial. Two, you have a Seedlinked account and can accept the trial from the email. Let's go over scenario one. You don't have a Seedlinked account and need to create one to accept the trial. To create a Seedlinked account, click on the Create an Account button within the Trial Invitation email. This takes you to the Seedlinked registration page. Let us know if you are a gardener or farmer provide your first and last name, and your email. Note that the email you provide must match the email that you received the trial invitation through. If these don't match, you won't be able to accept the trial. Finally, set up your account password, then click Next. On the next page, please provide your mailing address. Having your mailing address is important for two reasons. One, it lets the trial manager know where to mail your seeds for the trial, and two, it links your trial ratings to where you are growing the varieties and lets you see variety reviews in the Seed Explorer for your hardiness zone. Once you fill in your address, click Next. The last step in account creation is activating your account. Go to the email you used for the account and find an email titled Seedlinked Activation Email. If you don't see this email in your inbox, check for it in your spam or promotional email folders. Open this email and click on click here to activate your account or copy this URL and paste it into your browser. This will now send you to the Seedlinked login screen where you can log into your newly created and activated account. Note that if you do not activate your account, you will not be able to log in. Once you get logged in, go to the Track tab at the top of the screen. On the left-hand tab, go to Trial Invitations and select the trial that you were invited to. You can either accept the trial or decline it. Once you accept the trial, it will be added to your plantings on the Track page, which you can see here. Now let's go over scenario number two. You already have a Seedlinked account. If this is the case, you can log in and accept the trial from the invitation email. Click on Login and Accept Trial button within the email. Next, log in to your account. Friendly reminder to log into your account that has the same email address as the trial invitation email. If these don't match, you won't be able to accept the trial. Once logged in, you will be taken to the Track tab and the Trial Invitations tab for the trial. Here you can either accept or decline the trial. Once you accept the trial, it will be added to your plantings on the track page, which you can see here. If you get caught up anywhere in the process outlined in this video, you can always log into your Seedlinked account and accept the trial manually. To do this, go to the Seedlinked homepage, www.seedlinked.com. Click on the menu in the upper right and select Login. Log into your account. You will land on the Explore tab. Go to the Track tab on the top of the page. On the left hand side, select Trial Invitations and click on the trial that you'd like to accept. Here you can either accept or decline the trial. Once you accept the trial, it will be added to your plantings on the Track page, which you can see here. Once you accept a trial, its status will be requested, which means that the trial manager is finalizing trial details. This status will switch to review once the trial manager finalizes the trial and is in the process of mailing you seeds. That is how you accept a collaborative trial through an invitation email. To learn how to review varieties for trials and complete a trial on Seedlinked, check out our next YouTube tutorials on those topics. 
thank you for being part of Seedlink Trial this year. Every rating you add to the Seedlink platform powers our Seed Explorer and helps our collective growing community find the right seed. We appreciate your participation. If you are having any problems with your profile, please reach out to us at help at seedlinked.com. If you have any feedback on how to make the platform better, share your ideas with us at feedback at seedlinked.com.